G'day Reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we have the first in an exciting new series featuring one of our favourite team members, Shed Boy. We're going to be having a look at the reef aquarium that he's going to be building in his house and we're going to be taking you through each of the steps in creating this amazing reef tank. So today it's all about the vision. Let's check out Shed Boy's Reef. Regular viewers of Gallery Aquatica TV would recognize Shed Boy from a lot of the installation and relocation videos that we do. Uh, he's one of the most important members of our team and he is an avid reefer. So we're right in front of Shed Boy's tank. We'll have a look at your tank and have a bit of a, a chat about this and then we'll have a look at his dream build from the start. So first of all, tell us about your tank. What size tank is it? Uh, 400 litre. And what sort of lighting have you got? We've got two uh, Hydra 52s over the top. We're using two MP40s running reef crest at 100%. Yep. So quite strong flow, quite a lot of uh, wave maker power for a 400 litre tank and certainly very good lighting. Um, I like the way you've mounted it. Bit I of a guess. DIY. <laughs> DIY is always good. So this would be the original uh, brackets that come with the light yep. for the uh, what is it? Uh, Aqua Reef 395? Yeah. And you've just got a bit of, I bit guess... Shoot from Bunnings. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy. Yep. Uh, and what other equipment? I hear something behind me which sounds like it's doing some testing and... There's a Apex and a Trident on it which tests four times a day for me. Yep. So I don't have to test anything. So, uh, Shed Boy certainly likes his technology <laughs> and <laughs> you've got uh, an Apex on a 400 litre tank with you know, top end lighting and water flow and such. So you can certainly see uh, the results in the tank. Um, and it hasn't been all smooth sailing. You've had problems with algae. The first six months was a bit of algae. Um, I think it was just tank maturity that needed to get through it. Um, and a combination of maturity and a diadema urchin oh, yeah. really helped to get rid of that. And what supplements are you running on this tank? Uh, Triton. Uh, yeah, the core seven range, and so, very stable. <laughs> very stable yeah. with your parameters. Yeah. It's certainly a beautiful tank. Uh, for a 400 litre tank, you can see everything is going great. Um, very nice coral and algae, and uh, it's, it's certainly a very healthy little ecosystem. Um, so seeing the success that he's had in this tank really makes it exciting to think about what the dream build that he's setting up down the back of the house is going to end up like. Can we go check out yep. Shed Boy's Dream Reef? <laughs> we should mention that this house is undergoing renovations and one of the first areas of the house to be renovated is the entertainment area slash fish room. And it's just through here. So this is it. How good is it? This is the media room. And so Shed Boy has two big loves, the first of all, reefing as we've said but also playing Atari and we've got the Atari just behind us so uh, this is it tell us a bit about the whole media room and the concept of having a reef tank in the media room I guess that's the interesting thing well I want this to be the room that we hang out in um, spend most of our time you know uh, relaxing watching movies playing games and having a big tank to look at while we're doing that and I love the idea of having your reef tank in the, the media room. Um, I think it's gonna look really good. Let's have a look at how the tank is positioned in this room, just here. So this is the tank. Yeah, it, this, this is, is cardboard reef. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hold water yet, but uh, what's the idea of the cardboard? Um, I built my scape on the other side of it. And so this way you can see the, the size of the tank and how it's gonna yep. sit in the room. I think it'll be perfect uh, with the, the couch here, you'll be able to look up, not too high, not too low. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do? Is it going to be cladded or...? We're going to do some cladding on the bottom and just some hinged doors on top to access. We've got the, the steel uh, stand. Yep. Uh, we'll go around the other side and uh, uh, Shed Boy has created uh, his reef already and it looks really good so let's check it out. So this is the tank, the reef, the... Uh, 
uh, Shed Boys Reef, I guess we call it. Yep. Tell us about it. Uh, so it's all Marco Rock. Um, we uh, hammered it all into little chunks. So, and then sized it all into appropriate sizing. I, I should mention, uh, he sent me a photo of all this rubble Marco rock and I thought it was all our Marco rock at the shop and then he destroyed it. And I, <laughs> I was quite upset to be honest. Uh, but to think that uh, from effectively small pieces, he's created this really intricate reef. Um, what did you use to uh, bind them together? Uh, so I tried a combination of things just to see how they would all work. Uh, the the main one that I liked was you crush up the Marco rock into a powder and then use liquid super glue on the joins and put a little bit of Marco rock powder in the join, a little bit of super glue on top, instant sets. Literally 10 seconds that you can put stuff on top of it. Uh, Where we will be doing a video in the future of the display tank at our new store and uh, my plan at the moment is to get uh, Shed Boy to actually scape that tank. And uh, I think that the Marco Rock using this system will be exactly what we need. And uh, the, the, the reason why I do like it so much is because it's so intricate. Uh, each of the pieces are, are quite narrow and with the type of uh, coral that I assume you're going to be putting on the, this rock, uh, I think it'll really work well. So, I mean, to me, this looks like it'd be perfect for SBS. Um, yeah. You know, easy to mount an acro base on any point in you know, this, uh, this scape, but also will allow for excellent water flow around it. Yeah. What's, what water flow are you putting on this tank? Um, at the moment, I'm considering three MP40s across the back wall. So and this is the back wall here? Yep, that'd be the back wall, yep. So the main viewing, of course, is in from the entertainment room. Yep. Uh, is it going to be blacked out on this side? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there will only be the one viewing panel. Yep. Um, so three MP40s across this. The back, yeah. yeah. And then an MP60 on each of the corners to swirl the water around, basically, for the main flow. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and something else which is very interesting about this build is the lighting setup. <laughs> so how are you going to do the lights? <laughs> um, so I've bolted a, these are sliding door runners um, to the roof and we're gonna have a light rack mounted to that so I can pull the lights away from the tank if you need to do any maintenance, things like that. So these are the rails, so your, your, your rack will attach to that. Yep. And so you're gonna bring it all the way back to here. Yep. And then get into the tank. So that'll be one of the most exciting things for me to see with this build. Uh, lights that are able to be so easily moved to get into the tank will be great. Hmm. So it's, uh, it's certainly looking like a tank just made out of cardboard. <laughs> um, it'll be great to see the tank in place, but there's one other aspect of this whole setup that's quite exciting around the corner. So we're around the corner from the display tank, and what do we have? Another tank. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's certainly another tank. <laughs> it's a frag tank. Uh, so it's a nine foot by three foot by about 35 centimetre deep. So effectively the surface area of this stand yep. by 35 centimetres or that's 350 mils. So where did the stand come from? Uh, it's a rehome stand from a local tank teardown that was extraordinarily rusty and well used. You may recall <laughs> or remember this stand from one of our videos called... <laughs> I don't know! The video is called Reef Giant Extraction. It was a huge reef tank yep. and the stand um, was one of the heaviest stands that we've ever uh, had to move for a, uh, out of a tank. And, uh, and so anyway, Shed Boy has reconditioned it and he's painted it and it looks absolutely beautiful. To be honest, it re I regretted giving it away for next to nothing because <laughs> it is now the perfect stand for the frag tank. So what's down the end here? Let's have a look. Okay, so this is going to be my fragging area slash working area if I want to do any testing. It's a lovely bench, things like that. But um, this is what I'm interested in. We have a MRC Orca Pro 2 skimmer. Um, it's rated to about 4,000 litres from memory. Now, is this going to be running on the frag tank or the display tank? So it will be running on the whole system and it will be all be one system. Ah, uh, okay. So the frag tank will be connected to the display tank. So what's the volume of this going to be? 
Um, looking at, I think, 2,600 litres total volume between two display, uh, display a frag tank and two subs. Yeah. yeah. So pretty impressive. You've also got a slop bucket sink thing there. Yeah. A uh, sink to clean up in. Very handy when you've got <laughs> huge amounts of uh, waste material coming out of your skimmer. <laughs> and um, there's a, a couple, big, there you go. A <laughs> couple of hundred litres uh, RO storage there. That's what I was getting at. Yep. Um, handy. A Deltec calcium reactor. Oh, beautiful. Deltec Twin Tech, I think it's called. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. So you can see where this build is going. There's going to be the beautiful display tank in the media room. There's going to be this frag tank around the corner. Uh, lots of space to work, lots of space to frag. It's going to be a really exciting setup. So as this uh, setup is built, when's the tank going in? I'm uh, hoping to get it around June. So, so it's May now, so we're probably talking somewhere between four to eight weeks. Mm -hmm the tank will go in, so hopefully we'll be here for that. We'll show you the tank go in. It's gonna be going in through the side door. Yep. It's a big tank, so it's gonna be an exciting installation. Uh, we'll bring you every step of the way that Shed Boy lets us to. <laughs> <laughs> Angel was exciting your build. But certainly this is gonna be a really great build to follow. It's gonna be a beautiful display tank with a really interesting setup connected to it. So thank you so much for watching Gallery Quaker TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. What? I'm counting <laughs> count the fish guy. What do you want? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> G'day reefers. I'm counting the fish boy. <laughs> counting the fish boy? <laughs> boy is what I always said. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the fish guy. Happy reefing.